Hey guys, Jessica here. This morning, I woke up reading a lot of comments, messages, and emails from you guys requesting me to share my thoughts about this issue that arised from the Filipino TikToker Bella Porch, which sparked a lot of debate online. And that also led to the formation of hashtag cancel Korea in the Philippines asking for apology from Koreans and also I guess to raise awareness towards racial discrimination against the Filipinos. When I first heard about this keyword cancel Korea, I was like, what? Cancel Korea? It was such an extreme keyword, cancel Korea. Thank you so much to those people who enlightened me about this issue as well. To give you a summary of this issue, it started from the Filipina TikTok star Bella Porch and the netizens noticed that on her arm there was a tattoo that resembled of the flag Rising Sun. I hope you guys all know what the Rising Sun flag is all about and it is especially traumatizing for Koreans because that flag was was used during the forceful Japanese occupation here in Korea, which lasted for about 35 years. So that flag is associated with Japanese imperialism, and due to the Imperial Japan's um, mistreatment during that time of occupation, the flag can be very offensive for many Koreans. That is why we are especially sensitive about this. So I took a look into her tattoo if it was really similar to that Rising Sun flag, and I noticed that it really reminded me of that flag. No wonder why many Koreans were reacting quite negatively about this. I do understand where they're coming from. So Bella has made a public apology regarding her tattoo. She has said that at that time, I didn't know the history, but when I found out, I immediately had it covered and scheduled for removal. I am ashamed of myself for not doing my research. I sincerely apologize. In addition, she said that please educate yourself and learn more about it because it came from a terrible history. Please learn from my mistake. Aww. But the problem started by how some Korean netizens were attacking not only this TikToker Bella, but also the Filipinos as a whole, leaving comments that are basically very offensive to Filipino people. And I was also very offended by that. So I will read to you guys some of the comments that I saw. Poor country, non-educated people, short people. The Philippines is a slave state. No wonder you have no to little education. That's why your country will stay poor and won't grow. Stay that way, small-minded. And this kind of reaction is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Any form of racial discrimination is unacceptable for me and pretty sure with many of you guys as well. So about this and to those people who got offended by these comments of some Korean netizens, I would like to apologize from the bottom of my heart. I'm very sorry for you guys. I feel very uncomfortable because I also grew up in the Philippines for around the same amount of time that I was in Korea. And so I do feel very sorry for you guys. I would like to apologize on behalf of those rude Korean netizens. So this issue provoked a lot of Filipinos that the movement of hashtag cancel Korea started on Twitter. And that hashtag movement only started today, but it has garnered over 200 tweets already. I could definitely feel the anger of these people. So some of the Twitter users are sharing their own experiences about discrimination from the Koreans. So the first tweet starts with the hashtag and it says it was 2018 when I last visited Seoul. It was a five day trip and not a single day we didn't encounter a rude Korean. Every night we went back to the hotel, even though we were happy, there's that little sting in my heart, in the heart. Sometimes I want to go back, sometimes I don't. Next one is, I may like your songs, your cultures, and I even wanted to study in Korea, but I love my country. I'm gonna put my lipstick down and proudly raise my flag. This is the time when I felt like, okay, I kind of can see where this is going. And I literally stopped myself in the third post I saw, which is some Koreans saying that Filipino are ugly. But look at these queens. Do they look ugly? I don't think so. And they put some pictures of the Filipino celebrities. So this is the time when it gets a bit confusing because the whole point of this movement is to raise awareness about racial discrimination that Koreans or any people shouldn't 
be racist, right? But this post, some Koreans saying that Filipino are ugly. Well, I would say it's a rather emotional response. I don't think reacting to this situation emotionally is effective or is the best thing. It's just an extreme way of expressing and trying to deliver a message. Next one, you could also see, can somebody tell me is there a Korean who has crowned as Miss Universe, Miss World or Miss International? This is off topic. It's not related to the core of the problem. I mean, the idea of a hashtag movement, okay, that's like how many things work nowadays. But when it becomes like this, emotional and just attacking and not really straight on point, and it can really just buy more anger. Many people are also mentioning about the war, the Korean war, where many Filipinos came to Korea to fight for our side and that is such an honor. I also got comments from some of the families of those war veterans and yeah, that is the reason why I'm also trying to really see the positive connections between Korea and the Philippines instead of you know, focusing on the negative. It is very saddening how this is really an issue that we can never get rid of. You know, starting from the spark of the coronavirus where a lot of people around the world were being racist to any person that looked Chinese, followed by the BLM movement. These kind of issue is really an issue and it's very daunting to encounter this but one thing that i would like you guys to know is that please do not judge the whole of korea by these few netizens that you encountered online i really do understand how it feels to be mocked or insulted because of your race or because of your nationality that is why i do understand why these people who are joining this movement seem to be expressing their anger in a very emotional way and seeing that kind of twitter post honestly is not that new for me because a few years ago I also uploaded a video titled racism in the Philippines and in that video I shared about some of the discriminational experiences that I got when I was in the Philippines as a young student and the whole point of that video was for me just raising awareness about the issue of racism and reducing it as much as possible and really taking it away in our generation but a lot of my Filipino viewers left hateful comments full of anger saying that oh Korea is worse oh you guys Koreans are such a blah 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 and it, it was yeah it was very hurtful for me and I and that kind of comments is not new for me because I always get those constantly and I know it's very hard not to make any generalizations from a personal experience that you encountered but that can lead to very very dangerous social issues later on I know my apology on behalf of those rude Koreans or this video won't calm your anger and uh, the pain that you received but I hope that we could get through this together with a positive and rational manner as much as possible to really raise awareness and to eventually solve the problem all right guys so that would be the end of today's video I hope you guys I hope you guys um enjoyed it that's what i always say before i end the video but this video's topic was a rather heavy one than the usual videos i make but i still hope you guys found it informative and i will see you guys in my next video bye